should be good. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are doing um, the roof panels, the ceiling panels, and um, some of the, the lighting for the roof. So uh, here's a little update on what I have done so far. So we've got the wall panels in, we've got all the electric roughed in, insulation in, serving window in. That's what we got going on. I also had my fan uh, delivered, my exhaust fan, so I'll be doing that next. I'm gonna actually install this first panel and then cut out the opening um, for that. That way we've got everything ready to go. I don't wanna put a hole in the ceiling until um, I have everything I need. I'm still waiting on the uh, roof sealant for that, so. I measured out the placement of my ceiling lights and then came in and pre-drilled my holes with a four and a quarter inch hole saw bit for my four inch recessed lights. But here's my ceiling panels. So I've got two of them there. I've already pre-drilled the um, recessed lights. I've got the holes here for them. And then those are the lights I'm gonna use right there. So uh, they're four inch LED and they change temperature uh, to whatever you want. So um, should be pretty good. I've got these uh, panels cut down to um, half of the uh, width of the ceiling. So I'm gonna run two uh, panels long ways here. Um, and then I'll have one more to go up here. I just put in this piece because running the panels long ways actually won't end on a uh, ceiling stud. So um, I wanted something to fasten the panels to to keep them nice and even. That's the mascot, Tango. Tango, sit. Good boy. He's a good boy. <laughs> He's been out here helping me in the cold. He loves the snow. So here's my setup to install the ceiling panels. I've got one of these cargo poles that I'm using to hold the panel up. It's actually working pretty well. You can see there. Um, so I'm holding the panel up. I pre-drilled the lights and I'm actually um, marking where the studs are and going to pre-drill all of the holes. Um, I've marked on my walls here on the wood where my ceiling studs are. And then I'll, I'm gonna mark it on the panel here and then mark it over here where you can see the stud, draw a line across and then mark uh, probably ever, every eight inches or so to put a screw in. Um, so I've, got, I've already got one line running here. So up here, my stud is actually over here. So I installed a panel. These are only three millimeters, so they're super thin. So I installed this panel and extended it over. So um, my ceiling panel will overlap it and I'll actually use fasteners to go into this, which is screwed to a stud. So um, that's why I did that. That way this will be nice and flush with my next panel. My next panel I'll put up here and it'll be um, connected to this and, and be nice and flush as well. So. Uh, all those will tie tie in together pretty well. So I'm gonna, gonna get this one fastened up. Starting to make some good progress on the ceiling here. Got uh, this panel installed and got uh, put in the light, pulled off the masking. Working on this back here. I got a trim piece in here that actually goes into the panel. Um, so I've been working on that to make it um, sit in there flush. It's kind of a pain. Um, once I get that set, then I can anchor this ceiling panel down, install the lights, and then um, the final ceiling panel up there, and then uh, we'll, we'll have the ceiling in. It's just pretty exciting, good to see some progress. To finish up that side of the trailer, I went ahead and finished the wiring of my light and put that puck light in. And then I went in on the other side and marked where all of my screw holes will be. I like to evenly space 
um, all the screws that way when you're looking down the length of the trailer everything is lined up and looks professionally done so that's what I'm doing here and I went ahead and um, anchored a couple screws to the ceiling joist since I didn't have another support panel and then I went in and pre-drilled the rest of my holes Kind of my last drill bit. Been breaking these left and right. I suggest using cobalt drill bits for drilling through this steel frame. They work a lot better, but they uh, still break. So I went through quite a few in this project. Sorry, it kind of went out of focus here, but I finished up fastening down this ceiling panel with the rest of the screws and pull out the wires for the lights. And then I'll finish up by installing those last two lights on this side of the panel and move on to the front. So it was getting pretty dark on me that night, so I finished up this side. And then the next morning I came out and uh, pre-cut the front panel and pre-drilled those holes. And then I went ahead and mounted that up and I uh, put my breaker panel up there to mark the holes where my wires would come through. So I went ahead and marked those holes that I would drill out later. Then I came in and uh, again, marked where my studs were and then uh, pre-marked where all of my screws would go. So everything uh, would line up with the other panels and look nice and clean. As I finish up the ceiling here, I just want to recap on my uh, cost and time invested on this portion of the project. I had about uh, $195 in the panel material and the screws and about uh, three to four hours of installation time. Hey guys, so I just finished up the ceiling. Um, I've got some trim left to do. I'm gonna take three quarter inch PVC to cover up my seams. Uh, but other than that, it's all finished up. Got my lights installed and got it all fastened down. I just wanted to show you uh, what the final product looks like here. Next, I'm gonna put this floor down. I've got my roll of rubber flooring there. I'm gonna get this trailer cleaned up and get that rolled out. I'm gonna run it up the walls a couple inches and then install my wall panels. Once my wall panels are up, I'll finish out the electrical. I'll do the finishing on the electrical, put in my, um, on my outlets, put in my breaker box up there. Um, yeah, so.